What up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to build a deck from pallets. Yeah, um, so what we need for today's project, we already got some pallets over here. I think we got more than enough. We got some big ones there and um, then we got some smaller ones over here. We also got four pieces of two by six two piece, two by six by 10 feet, and two feet, and other two piece is 12 feet long, because the gazebo is 12 by 10. This is the gazebo we're gonna set up over here. It's a 12 by 10 gazebo. We purchased this gazebo just before winter of last year, we didn't get enough time to set it up because the winter came down on us and um, it actually semi-installed. The middle part is missing and, and some sheet of layer, layers right up is missing because if we finish it, it's going to be more weight to actually lift to put over here. In the can over here, we got the middle piece. That's supposed to go on top. And over here, we got the two remaining piece of metal to go up top. So, since I'm the only one who is going to be working on this deck for now, I'm going to show you stages as I go. I might not be able to record it as I go because I'm actually holding the camera now, but hopefully I can set up this camera somewhere so you yeah, can see the process. So we're gonna turn it that way. The longer side, which is the 12 feet, gonna be facing us. As you all can see, we got a pathway in the backyard going on. I've been working on this backyard for quite some time, but as I said, it's me alone. And um, work, when transforming your backyard, it's a lot. So you gotta take it in stages. You're gonna do piece by piece. So this is it for this year. Um, we didn't do much because we're supposed to install a pool over there and a hot tub in that corner, but um, that's for another project, maybe next year. So we're in the midst of the summer now and um, time might finish before the winter come in. So we're gonna go with the deck for this summer project. So I'm gonna get this thing going. As you can see, I screw the four corner of the two by six. Here yeah, I connect all four corner. So that is the outer layer of it. That's gonna be the face of the deck. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna get the level of the inside. The first step I did was to get the four corners of the two by six together. This is gonna be the face of the deck. You see, um, I use single screw to hold, a single screw right here, to hold each corners of the board because I'm not, I do not have a square. So I'm not sure if it's actually square because I'm not, uh, carpenter by trade. I'm just helping myself. As y'all can see, I'm not getting paid to do to do this, so I'm doing it at my likings. Yeah, so my next step is to get the flooring going on. So I'm gonna set up the camera right there and I'm gonna scatter these Pallet.
now I place on uh, my pallets. Some is higher than some. Some is in a lower position than the others. So I'm gonna use some boulder like bricks to put under the lower one to get it up to the same level. The boss coming to take a look because without her approval, it's never gonna happen. Big boss, how are you going? How do look? You look nice. That's it? Mm -hmm. Yep. But you don't have to put something in between. No. No okay. pallet no is that small to fit in between, is it? No, like... No, oh, okay. So, the player would have to cover it up and seal it together. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. It look nice. Look nice? That was quick. That was quick? Uh -huh. So, come back and find you like Okay, nice. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, so, boss just give me the approval, so... Yeah, I'm good to go. Christian, can you use the level? Huh? The level. What did I just say earlier on? <laughs> I'm not a carpenter by profession. We are doing it to our likings. It might not be square, but of course, I'm going to get the level and make sure it's all set. Christian, did you... Why do I carry it back some more? Or no? We never bring it back too oh, no, far, far because yeah, more the... Lamb won't be able to go around the back oh, to cut the lamb. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's nice. Thank you. So, next night, what you're supposed to finish? Yep. All right, thank you. Welcome back to day two of making this deck for my gazebo. So, earlier on, I put the pallets in, but I Took a few days to think about it, how to execute it the correct way. So um, I finally come to the conclusion that I should put some filling sand inside on the ground instead of putting the board down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw some filling sand inside there. I'm not gonna put a thick layer, just enough to keep the board from making direct contact with the dirt. I got a boat. I got eight bags of filling sun. Now I'm going to use the back of my rake to spread it. You can use whatever you want to use. I choose to use my rake because the rake has a flat face down there, flat side. This is what it actually looked like after covering up the grass with the leveling sun. Pretty much, pretty much nice. Not the levelest, but um, it made a big difference. So now I'm going to apply the pallets to catch the floor. So these are some heavy duty pallets. I was lucky enough to get four of them, so I'm gonna put one on each corner. Since they are heavy duty, they should be heavy enough to hold the foot of the gazebo. These things are four feet on the smallest side. And since it's a 
10 by 12. I want to use the four feet side to form the 12 feet angle. If you understand, four, 12 feet, four, three fours make 12. So that's why I'm turning them around. I'm paired. Now we've got the four bigger ones in the four corner. We're going to fill the open area with some lighter, with some lighter duty one. For the next step, what I'm going to do is try to release some of these pallets. These, I already released them. Basically, dismembering the pallets because I got enough for the flooring. So instead of using the four by eight plies on the top for the floor, I'm gonna pull down a few pallets and splice them together. So I'm gonna start by breaking these apart. They're a bit strong, but um, slowly I'm getting there. So this is it, partially level is not the most levelless thing, but um, it's actually level enough to move to the next step. So as I was doing before, pulling down some of those pallets, I got a few pull right here. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with these pallet strips. So I'm going to put the camera down. Basically, I'm going to line it. So this is what I'm going to do. So that is actually how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna bolt these board down and then trim the edges and use those edges in a smaller area. Now I have the layout, I'm gonna start screwing these board together. Keep them as close as possible. That is the beginning. So I'm gonna trim up the hedges of these board so you all can get a better understanding. Now I'm gonna use my saw to cut the hedges, trim the hedges of this board. Let me, I'm gonna tap down this. I'm gonna use this as a guard, so I'm gonna screw it down. So basically, basically I'm using this as my guard. So I tap this down so I can get a straight line to go across. So 
For some reason, I think this blade is too small or not sharp enough. It's cutting, but it's not cutting as fast as I want it to be. And I'm gonna catch the same board on this side. As I said, I'm using this as my guideline to cut the lower, to cut the trim, it, trim, trim the edges. Hopefully I get a better cut on this side. Not sure what's going on with this blade, but um, there's no nail or screw in there, so it shouldn't be acting like that, but taking my time to get it. So this is the beginning of the flooring. I'm gonna pause for today because the saw is not cutting well. So hopefully I can get it together, get a more powerful saw and continue the work tomorrow. What's up YouTube? This is one week later, okay? So I'm gonna give you all uh, an update of my project. This project I started a week ago. I started more than a week ago, but um, a week ago, I actually took it serious and bring it to this where I'm at. So all left for me was to unpull those pallets and finish making the flooring. And I would be good to go. Then I would put the gazebo on top. So I'm gonna give you an update. If you are planning and building your deck from pallet, free pallet, don't. Don't. It ain't gonna work. Don't. Don't do it. Take my advice. It's free. You might get the pallets free or cheap, but don't do it. Anything comes free, never good. I mean, 70% of the time. So, after doing my research, I learned that the pallet is a good idea, but it's not going to last. No matter, don't, it doesn't matter the amount of sun, the weed blocker, or whatever you use, it's not going to last. Both of my clients, two of my clients, did the same thing, and it lasts, um, one of them it lasts, little over a year, like a year and six, seven months. The pallet was rotten out, rotten. When he stepped, his feet went right through the pallet. A second client knew someone who did the same thing, and within two years, it was rotten all out. So I just wasted um, a lot of energy, a lot of time, and wood splinter in my finger, and. It's just a waste of time. So, if you're going to build your deck, it's going to be outdoor, of course. Our deck is outdoor. Please to use pressure-treated wood. Treated wood. Because it doesn't matter the stain you put on it after. Make sure the wood is treated for outdoor. When Building this poly, um, deck earlier on, I realized it had some insect on the bottom because I first I put them down on the ground. Earlier in the video, you see they were flat on the ground. And the following day when I came to inspect it, it was all uh, jacked up. You, you can see insect and worm on the wood. So that's when I went and get the sun, hoping the sun would make a difference. But it's not going to work. So this is a waste of project, waste of time, waste of everything. But I got some experience though. So I'm going to pull back this down. I'm going to pull it all the way down and start it the new and correct way. So as I said, if you are planning on making a deck in your backyard like I did, 
please don't do it get yourself pressure treated good so all these pallets i got over here is just a waste of time and i'm certainly certainly gonna burn them because they have no plans for them outdoor in the winter i'm gonna use them as firewood in my fire pit outside so thank you all for watching and i hope this video teach you something and i hope you learn from this video the treated wood might cost you a few bucks but um in the long run it's gonna worth it you know it's worth it 10 15 years it's worth it yeah so don't use no free pallets to build no deck okay thank you all i'm gonna build a proper one so the next video from this one you will see the correct way of doing it thank you all for watching peace out